social security benefits for the March 2023 and this one includes people on retirement, disability, SSDI, SSI, survivors and I got all the latest updates regarding the social security benefits. Now the social security expansion act formally introduced and here we have got the letter. Yes, they are planning for those benefits. As of 1st March 2023, there is 156 House of Republicans signed on to plan. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Whether it's Social Security Expansion Act, those Medicare benefits, the Social Security benefits are being discussed, they are talking about cutting their benefits or whether passing this Social Security Expansion Act benefit raises for $200 a month, $2400 a year. Now, we are talking about Kamala Harris talking about it. Also, there are many politicians. Even take a look at this. Now, as per the latest reports, it's not just the Republicans, but it's Nikki Haley, Mike Pence, Ron DeSantis, Mitch McConnell, Trump and many more Republicans now talking about. So this is as of post March 2023, the recent update guys. Now whether cutting the Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security benefits gonna be the viable decision. But one thing for sure, right here people underneath the Social Security radar, whether it's SSI beneficiaries, people on Social Security, those elderly individuals, people on disability benefits, you know what cost of living adjustment for the Social Security was 8.5 seven percent it was high enough but you know what this cost of living adjustment was adjusted as per the cpiw figures now those cpiw figures doesn't match those habits the spending habits for elderly people and get this as per the latest fact sheet released by social security administration whether it's retired workers disabled workers or survivors note that the major source of income for most of the elderly like nine out of ten people elderly people are receiving social security benefits as a primary source of their income and guess what you work hard for earning those credits putting your efforts into the social security paying payroll taxes and now they are saying cutting your social security benefits is the only option some politicians are at least saying that you know house of republicans are lacking a responsible economic plan and by how much as per the latest tweet by president joe biden house of republicans economic plan would increase the deficit by three trillion dollars so what will they cut to make the numbers add up? Will they cut Medicaid, Affordable Care Act or Social Security benefits or cut Medicare benefits, veterans benefits, aid to the farmers? So this is the recent tweet by President Joe Biden. Now all those politicians doesn't have to make this all complicated. Sounds like it's so much complicated because the bill introduced by Bernie Sanders promises to solve all these problems at once and even manages to increase the benefits even beyond $200 per month benefit increases for all across the board social security beneficiaries right over here we have got the social security expansion act this is the bill now this bill promises some important benefits for social security beneficiaries all across the board benefits now first one all across the board benefit increases that means whether you are receiving social security benefits ssi supplemental security income ssdi your disability benefits retirement benefits all across the board the benefit will be increased also so the next important point is the computation of the cost of living adjustment increase. The COLA for the 2023 was 8.7% largest in last 40 years but you know what the COLA was calculated by CPIW figures. Now the Social Security Expansion Act promises to calculate those cost of living adjustment by figure called CPIE. Now CPIE figure will be much beneficial because CPIE does take in account those habits, those spending habits for elderly individuals. So the cost of living adjustment will be higher and better suited for elderly people. And you know what the most important reason why they are thinking about cutting those social security benefits. You know what the calculation isn't matching up. Now if you take a look at the numbers, how much beneficiaries are putting into the social security system by payroll taxes and how much social security beneficiaries are taking out in form of their social security benefits whether it's retirement disability survivors benefits well get this guys the numbers isn't adding up properly as for the latest numbers by congressional budget office well the social security outlays the revenues with scheduled payable benefits we can see the projected line isn't matching up the revenues social security has is lacking that's why they are thinking about cutting those social security and other benefits you can see on this graph 
up the green line is the revenues and the blue line is outlays with the scheduled benefits and the dotted line represent outlays with the payable benefits you can see it's clearly not matching up now take any number whether it's social security trust fund ratios distribution of scheduled benefits and payroll taxes the average initial annual benefits for retired workers by birth cohort well none of the numbers are properly matching and that's the reason where the social security expansion act came to the rescue now originally the social security expansion act have been introduced in last year and even before that but you know what if the social security expansion act would have been passed in last year then top ceos would have paid 3.4 billion dollar more in 2021 taxes under the social security expansion act so this is how significant this one like i said more money coming into the social security taxes will balance out the system and the bill the social security expansion act will promise to manage the extended solvency and increase the benefits all across the board for 200 dollars per month for all the social security all the beneficiaries underneath the social security radar the plan proposed by bernie sanders is simple to lift up the cap on social security and if this bill has passed the income over 400 thousand dollar would contribute to the social security fund so according to the bill well the proposed increased benefits would be funded by additional tax on those who earn over 400 thousand dollars a year this means that wealthy will be contributing more to support the social security system which will benefit all the americans especially those who need it the most now the social security expansion bill received support from many lawmakers and advocacy group who recognize the importance of supporting seniors now proposed increases benefits and changes in the cost of living adjustment formula would provide much needed financial relief to the seniors who are struggling to make their end meets the proposed bill has potential to have significant impact over the lives of seniors and the benefits for seniors is a positive step towards addressing financial struggles that many seniors face extra two thousand four hundred dollars a year could bring in the much needed financial support we are talking about it could make a huge difference in covering essential expenses like food housing health care and additionally changing the cost of living adjustment formula from the cpiw to cpie could better reflect the cost of seniors and how their spending habits are to accurately adjustment their cost of living adjustment benefits now we all know social security expansion act is the solution but what's currently going on let me show you there are many politicians republicans lambasted president biden for daring to say that they wanted to cut social security then the videos of rick scott and mike lee trended and it's not just them it's nick haley mike pence ron DeSantis, mitch mcconnell Trump and many more Republicans. There is lot of mix and match, mixed opinions regarding this Social Security Expansion Act or whether cutting the Social Security benefits. Every time I see the Twitter, President Joe Biden is tweeting out, "We'll protect the Medicare and Social Security." Some people say House of Republicans determined to end Social Security and Medicare. If you don't believe it, you are not paying attention. If Social Security is cut, Congressional pensions should be cut. If we don't need it, then they don't need it. Said by. 63 blue wet right over here we have got the list of shame there is 156 house of republicans signed on to plan to cut slash the social security so you can take a look at right over here as of first march 2023 this is the update 156 house of republicans have just signed on to the plan to raise the social security from 65 to 70 so basically they are trying to put every little bit of effort to cut the social security one way or another plan to slash the social Social security and speaking of the social security expansion act well it's worth noting that the bill is still in its it's worth noting that the Social Security Expansion Act bill is still in its early stages and it has yet to be passed into a law. So first it will. However, the fact that lawmakers are pushing for an increase in the Social Security benefits and the solvency is a step positive towards supporting those who rely those who rely on it for their basic needs. Now, the Social Security Expansion Act has been reintroduced has been reintroduced by Congress Senator Bernie Sanders. Now, the Social Security Expansion Act. Social Security Expansion Act bill was reintroduced by Congress Senator Bernie Sanders have been co-sponsored by other lawmakers who recognize the importance of providing adequate support for aging and disabled population. The Social Security Expansion Act aims to strengthen the social security system and provide much needed relief to those who rely on it. Bill could have significant impact on financial well-being of social security recipients, getting additional 
$200 benefit raises monthly and many of other benefits. As per the latest update, the Social Security Expansion Act has been formally reintroduced on February 13th. Now, the Social Security Expansion Act was formally introduced on February 13th. Now, we will have to see what will happen to this one, whether they will amend any sort of a changes into the Social Security Expansion Act. And here we have got the letter. Yes, they are planning for those benefits as we have just discussed but we will have to see the final amended version of the social security expansion act because it's still in its early form and once we get any sort of an update i will keep you posted but as of right now the bill has not been yet passed once we get any update i'll keep you up to date so make sure to subscribe to our channel how to guys make sure to hit that like share this video and this is kedar from how to guys signing out